All right, little backstory on this crib, bro. I know everyone was asking for a penthouse tour, bro. Little backstory on this crib. So I met these dudes off TikTok that I started working with. One of them is a coach in our community, all right? They, we were talk, I was talking to him, we started chopping it up. We wanted to move to Miami. We're in Arizona right now. Everyone was asking, why you moved to Arizona? Like, that's so random. I get it, bro. I didn't want to move to Arizona either. But listen, all right? I didn't think I was going to be moved. I was looking to move out of my parents' house for a while. I didn't think I was going to be moving for like at least another few months, you know, because like usually it's a process, right? These dudes that I met, they were like, oh, we don't want to go to Miami anymore. They already lived here in Arizona. So they decided to stay in Arizona and they were looking to get out of their current place like ASAP, right? So they were looking at places. I had never been to Arizona. I've been to Arizona when I was younger and stuff, but I never like really been to Arizona they went and toured this place right here. I guess it was like on sale or some shit. Like if they needed to buy it quick. They went and toured the place. Um, I didn't even come visit it. They just sent me some videos of the place. Ended up applying 30 minutes later, got approved hella quick because we got too much motion, you know what I'm saying? Ended up signing the lease that fucking day, bro. Didn't tell my parents, didn't tell them anything. Had, again, I had not even seen the place yet and I was I already signed the lease. I was already paying for rent even though I didn't even move it until like three weeks later anyways, anyways. So I literally moved here like three days ago. I moved in, they had already been here for a few weeks anyways. These guys I met off TikTok if I didn't tell you that already. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little penthouse tour, nothing too crazy, you know, this is something like next year we're gonna hit Miami for sure. That's where I wanted to go right now, but you know, this year I don't think we were ready. So walk in, we're gonna walk in for this year, one whole year, 365 days, bro. That shit will change your life, so. We're gonna do a quick little penthouse tour really quick. So as you guys can see right here, we got the living room, right? The living room is pretty nice. This is like a $3,500 couch, something like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't really know what to do with this area right here. Put the camera here. Well, I think we're gonna put like a pool table or something. Or not a pool table, but a poker table. So all the boys can come over, you know, we can gamble a little bit, uh, shit like that. So we got, some random plants and shit. Do not ask me about these decorations and shit, bro. That shit was not me, bro. That was Brez Marketing, bro. I didn't, I didn't approve of any of this, bro. This is a quan ass penthouse, bro. Not my, not my choice, but anyway, it's cool. Couch is super fucking nice. We got all these random ass pillows and shit. Um, TV is cool. Uh, again, I don't know what the fuck is going on with all this bullshit, bro, but don't ask me. All right, so if you come over here, we'll go on the balcony in a second, but if you come over here, we got the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty fire. It's pretty clean. Uh, just got some random shit, some cabinets and shit like that. At night, this place is crazy, bro. I'm gonna I'm pull up, uh, I'm gonna try to pop up some like night views. If you go on my Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I have some shit on there about it, but. So we got some dirty dishes. Fuck Dylan. Um, we got the fridge. Nothing too crazy. Um, we got this area right here. This area is super nice bro it is so amazing to be able to wake up and just look at this view and work bro it's so motivating i know everyone says like oh bro stay in your parents house save up your money and shit like that bro that's bullshit bro move into a crib with some dudes that do the same shit as you or do similar shit to you and i guarantee you that you're like 5x your income i'm on track right now for my biggest month ever of all time all time in business and i genuinely think it's literally just because of the people i surround myself if you surround yourself with people who do the same shit as you and you surround yourself with people who make more money than you or the same amount of money as you you're gonna make more money how the fuck is it possible to not make more money bro if you're caught if you live with dudes that do the same shit as you and you're constantly thinking about ways to make more money it's impossible bro get the fuck out of your parents house it, like it, you can only go so far in your parents house that's all i gotta say so anyways let's go out to this little balcony right here oh. So this is a nice, this is a, this is a nice little area. I don't really come out here too much, uh, but if you want to come look at the view really quick, this view is hella nice, especially at night. Like I said, we're in downtown Tempe right now. Uh, again, I had never been to this fucking town, town before. There's some pros and cons to it, right? So this is a college town. So ASU is like literally down the street. That's a good thing and a bad thing. There's pros and cons to that. The pros are, there's hella girls everywhere, bro. Like everywhere you walk, there's women everywhere. Um, the cons is that you have to deal with those college brokies, bro. Everyone, like when you're walking around here, everyone just thinks you're a college brokie. Um, but then you pull them up to the penthouse and they know what's up, so. Uh, I don't think we can get in right here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go around. But we're gonna go around to that room right there. If you guys don't know who, who my roommates are, probably seen him on TikTok. We got breast scales ads. You know what he does. He scales ads all day. 
Uh, he lives over here. He lives over in this section right here. This is like some random little, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I've never been in there. Uh, we got some little half bathroom. There's nothing too crazy. I don't think anyone really uses that either. Uh, this is Brett Scales' dad's uh, room. Uh, we got his bathroom right here. His bathroom is pretty clean. At night, it looks fire. You got the shower right here. Dirty motherfucker doesn't clean up. We got his fucking walk-in closet right here. Looks pretty good. He got some wise little drip, some shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Some TikTok-ass drip right here. All right, we got his toilet. And yeah, that's about it for his bathroom. And this is his room. He he definitely got the best room, bro. This is the most fire room by far, especially at night, bro. I'm telling you, this place looks crazy at night. Um, again, my roommates got here like two, two, what was it, like two and a half weeks or something like that before me. So, you know, I got hoed, bro. I got the worst room, but that it is what it is, bro. I'm not tripping too much. This is where he scales his ads at, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, bro, that's where he scales ads. That's all you gotta know, bro. Scaling ads all day, 24-7. We got his bed, you know, the keep the panda buy haul on the floor. That shit's all TikTok shop, bro. Don't be fooled, bro. Uh, and then if you guys come over here, we're gonna go to the other side of the pet. Actually, let's go on the balcony first. Let's go on the main balcony first. So we come over here, open up this. This is one of the best things about this apartment is that you can open these doors big as fuck so like at night bro this is such a vibe when we're just chilling at night scaling ads we got the fucking leds on and we got the fucking jungle i don't like the jungle at all not my choice again but when you're just chilling at night bro maybe hit the penji a little bit i don't know don't tell take it from me but maybe if you hit the penji a little bit some, scale some ads while the fucking the view is amazing, bro. You get so much work done. So, if you come out here, we got the main balcony. I think we're gonna put like a bar out here or something like some chairs or some shit. I don't know. But uh, this is the best view right here. This shit's fire as fuck. Uh, the weather's actually nice in Arizona right now. I heard it's gonna get super hot soon, but we'll see. And then if you come over here, actually, let's go around this way to my room. This balcony connects all the way to my room's balcony. But. You come over here this is the random storage closet doesn't look too good and then if you come to my room I, again guys i moved in like two days ago so coming some slack but uh got my bed right here this shit's all right it took me forever to build got a tv i need to mount i'm gonna mount on the wall right here and like swivel it this way so it's pointing towards my bed um and then my setup this shit's kind of mid bro to be honest like it's whatever it is what it is but a lot of work gets done here a lot of fucking money's gonna be made right here. So yeah. Now if you come over here, I have no clue what to do with this section right here. Like it's so fucking random, like just this fucking dent in the wall. I was thinking I could put another desk here or move my desk over here, but I don't know. I'm not tripping too much about that. And then we got my bathroom. You know, I got the teeth whitening toothpaste, um, some towels, some fucking soap. My closet right here, some light little drip in there. Bro, I need to do a fucking panda buy haul, bro. I need some new drip. We got the shower. Shower's whatever, bro. I don't even have soap in here, bro. I don't have soap yet, bro. Got me lacking, bro. And then if you come out here, we got the fucking, this is my, this is my balcony. Only thing that's kind of ass is that this connects right here. So anyone can just walk over here and just look in my room. There's blinds, but no one ever puts that down. Um, so yeah, bro, the view, again, bro, it's amazing at night. When you wake up in the morning, like I don't use an alarm anymore because when the sun, the sun literally comes up right here and it beams you so hard in the morning that you just get raped by the sun and you have to wake up, bro. So it's kind of lit, but it's kind of sucks at the same time, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's my room. I got to do a lot of shit to it. I haven't put too much effort into it. I don't even have a nightstand yet, bro. I refuse to build anything, all right? So I have to buy everything built. I'm so shit at building stuff. I decided to get a nightstand from Target. That was like 70 bucks or some shit. And um, I tried to build it myself, right? I, I started raging so badly because I put it together wrong. I was gonna throw it off the balcony like dead ass, but I just threw it away. Like I was like, fuck that. I just threw the whole thing away because I put it together wrong. Yeah, I'm never building anything again in my life, bro. That's not a good ROI, bro. All right. Come over here, we got our own laundry and shit like that. 
I hope the sirens aren't too loud. You can probably hear that shit, huh? Probably. All right, whatever. All right, we got the laundry right here. <laughs> I haven't even done laundry yet. I'm a dirty motherfucker. All right, we come over here. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't think this opens. But uh, this is our other roommate, Dylan's. He does some also, he has a brand and he also works with other brands and does some like front end stuff for them. I believe he does like Shopify shit and stuff like that, like email marketing, I think, something like that. But his, his room, he has the master bedroom because his girl's always here. But uh, this shit's dirty right now. They're on like a ski trip, some rich shit. But um, yeah, he's not here right now. His room, obviously, you could tell, bro, he was getting freaky with the jewel and shit last night and the wine. I don't know what's going on. Look at this combo, bro. The what is what's going on, bro? I don't know, bro. His girls here, they're always on some freaky shit. I'm not gonna lie. So we got the I love you sign. Whole ass breakfast. This shit's about to be here for the next week. Holy shit, bro. It doesn't even look too bad to be honest. Got the fucking Zins, bro. Bro, this guy's different, bro. His setup right here. He blasts music so loud that it like vibrates the whole wall. Uh, come over here, he got his, he has a master bedroom, so he has the big ass tub. Uh, he got his cat right here. This cat's actually hella chill. But uh, yeah, his, his sinks, he got two sinks, big ass shower, big ass tub, um, bathroom right here, toilet. And then this is his closet, I believe. This closet's hard as fuck, it's so big. Got the Louis drip. Um, yeah, come over here. This is girl's bathroom, or not his girl's bathroom. His girl's closet. Uh, really, I don't want to invade your privacy, but I'm not gonna go in there, so. Uh, come back around. No, that's his balcony. Uh, he actually has his own balcony, so. I, you know how I told you guys that my balcony connects to the other one? This one is really just its own, so I'm not gonna go out there, but it's like cut off, so that's sick. I don't know what could be going on on that balcony, but yeah. So that's honestly pretty much it for the penthouse. Um, this place is actually a pretty good price. It's not as expensive as probably some of you guys think. So it was honestly a really good deal, bro. I'm super happy with it so far. I moved in with some sick ass dudes. We're about to make a fuck ton of money. Like I promise you, I'm about a 50X this year. I swear to God, I'm about a 50X my income. The moral of the story, bro, is change your environment. Like I wake up every single day, like look at the view, bro. This is during the daytime, like it's, it's all right in the daytime, but at night it's different. Wake up, I'm motivated. Like when I'm not working, I see my roommates working. I'm like, fuck, I'm falling behind. I see my roommates making money. I'm like, bro, I gotta make money. It's crazy how quickly your life can change. So I've talked about this a lot on TikTok. You can follow me on TikTok, but everyone thinks that your their path is gonna be like this. Like it's just gonna slowly get better and better and better. The reality of it is like, I started business about a year and a, like three months ago or something like that, I've been in the game. Uh, which is a decent amount of time, but when I'm looking back on it, it went really quick But everyone thinks their progress is gonna go like this slowly better and better They're gonna slowly start making more and more money. It's not gonna be like that, bro What's gonna happen is you're gonna be putting in so much work for so long and you're not gonna make any progress You're gonna feel like you're not making any progress here and go like this You're not gonna make any money, no money, no money, no money, no progress And then all of a sudden randomly you're just gonna hit a crazy up like this Like it's just the way it works for whatever reason uh, Like that shit will happen, like your come up will happen super quick if you stay down and put the work in. Like I know it sounds corny as fuck, like I know everyone says that, but if you genuinely put the hours in like for a whole year and don't expect anything in return, if you work for 365 days without expecting anything in return, bro, you can change your fucking life. Like this shit is crazy. If you told me four months ago, literally four months ago, bro, if you told me four months ago that I was gonna be in a penthouse with dudes making hella money, like just chilling every day, doing whatever the fuck I want whenever I want, like, bro, I'd be like, no way it's gonna happen that soon, but it did. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, you can genuinely create any life you want. I know I'm going on, I know I'm yapping right now, bro. I'm yapping like a motherfucker, but this shit's crazy, bro. You can, I can literally wake up and do whatever I want, whenever I want. No one tells me what to do. I can wake up when I want, I go to sleep when I want, I can hang out with my friends when I want, I can hang out with girls when I want. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, I, I genuinely, I genuinely put this shit into existence. Like I dreamed of this stuff and it came into, it came into fruition, bro. So this is genuinely only the start. I swear to God, like we're about a 50 X this year. Like I said, we're going to hit Miami next year for sure. Get a bigger fucking penthouse in Miami. It's up this year, bro. So if you want to follow along with the journey, subscribe to this channel. I'm about to try to post like once or twice every week. I forgot to mention this in the video, but in, in my last YouTube video that I posted like two weeks, it was like two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I forgot. But I talked about how I'm going to be doing a challenge with flip the camera bro 
With bra <laughs> with bra scales brands, bro. This dude right here, he runs Facebook ads for brands. He's goaded at it. So he only has 6,000 followers on Instagram and 24,000 followers on TikTok. And I'm gonna be doing a challenge to prove that this shit is not luck, bro. I can really do this shit. I'm gonna take him from zero to $10,000 a month with his own program, his own paid community in less than 30 days. I'm gonna document the whole thing on YouTube. I'm gonna go from start to finish. Like I'm gonna show you guys all my funnels. I'm gonna show you guys like the whole process from start to finish behind the scenes, everything. So you guys could use it yourself. You can use the systems that I use. And I'm gonna show you guys that follower count does not matter. All you guys are tripping like, oh, I got a creator with a million followers. Bro, that shit doesn't matter. I'm about to take a kid with 6,000 followers on Instagram to 10K a month, probably even more. We'll probably hit 15, 20. So I'm about to show you guys that I did it once. I could do it again. It's really not luck. I really do this shit. So subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna catch that. I think that's gonna be my next video is gonna start that challenge. So zero to 10K a month. Ch growth operators challenge i don't know what i want to title it yet but yeah subscribe and stick around for that challenge um and if you guys have any questions about like growth operating or a business in general follow me on instagram and dm me if you guys don't follow me and you dm me i'm not responding people dm me all the time and they don't follow me i'm like why the fuck would i respond to you so i'll be dropping game for everyone in the dms um that follows me so follow me on instagram and uh subscribe to watch the journey bro we're about to go up this year let's go